Hey guys, how's it going? It's Christmas Eve! Yay! <laughs> Anyways, we're back and we've been meaning to talk about this for a while, so we figured since it's a rainy weekend, we're gonna do it now. So we are here today to tell you about our favorite holy grail hiking shoes. They're kind of running shoes, but also hiking shoes. We are talking about Ultra shoes, and the reason we found about Ultra was basically because we walked into our local sporting goods store one day. Basically just stumbled on it. Yeah, well, we walked in there because I needed a hiking shoe, and so I tried on, I don't know, like some Merrells and some Keens, some different like hiking shoes, and I just didn't really think they felt comfortable at all. They felt like super stiff. And so the guy that was helping us was asking me what I wanted in a hiking shoe, like what was important to me. So I just told him, you know, comfortable and ankle Comfort. support. And he was like, you've got to try these ultra running shoes. And what sold me was he said that he went on a week long hiking trip with his friends and he bought these ultra shoes the day before he went on the hike. So he couldn't even break them in at all. And he was yeah. the only one that finished the hike without blisters. So I was like, sold. Tried them on. I tried them on. They are like the most comfortable shoes in the world. Then I got this guy hooked on them. <laughs> then I tried them on. And now he has more oh. pairs than me. I do. I have three pairs. That's what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> we're going to show you our shoes, what we like about them. So here is a couple of facts about ultras that make them a little bit unique. And the first is the toe shape. So unlike regular hiking or running shoes where the shape is a little bit narrow these are actually like a little bit more of a square design so basically what they're saying is that the normal kind of pointy toe shape squeezes the toe together and it can create some like discomfort or some crowding with your toes it kind of gets tight and uncomfortable so what they did is they made like a wider square toe box so that your feet can all like or not your feet your toes can be like it sounds weird i hate feet i hate talking about toes um your Toes it's can like, like spread, spread out, out and just be comfortable. It's like wearing slippers. Seriously, they're so comfortable. Yeah, so apparently it's just something. It sounds weird, but it's so comfortable. And now when I put on like regular running shoes, I'm just like, ah, I feel so cramped in here. <laughs> so I don't like you at all. Like my so, toes can't breathe. Yeah. And then the other thing that makes them kind of unique is their zero drop technology. And I'll let Mark talk a little bit about that. Anyway. All right, guys, so the fully cushioned zero drop, what they did, the founder of Ultra, they started melting off like the back of the heel because most running shoes are a little elevated the in the heel. Is going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so they took off that extra height in the back of the heel to give you more balance in your foot when you're running, better weight distribution. You can actually strengthen your calf muscle and Achilles heels, which over time running with an elevated heel in your running shoe will weaken your muscles. So this is actually strengthening it with a lower heel to four foot elevation ratio. Yeah, so, so he uses them for hiking and running. Yeah, I do right? a lot of trail running in them. And I do. I've like, done a little bit of running, but I haven't done a lot yet in them. But I guess I should try. But like in the summertime, I'll do like six miles a day in them. And yeah, they're so <laughs> comfortable, you guys. And like I said earlier, there there's literally no break-in period whatsoever. And they're so durable too, because I've had the same running shoe for two years. That first pair I bought, I still have them, and I. Every once in a while, I'll still go for a run in them too. That's crazy. And, and like no foot pain in them at all. It's, yeah, I've they never hold up really well. They're so good. I say the only time I ever got a blister was just because I was wearing the wrong socks that kept falling down. That's the, oh, so yeah. that was more like of a sock issue than a shoe issue. But they're so comfortable. So these are, let's see, these are the first pair I got, and I don't even remember what these ones are. are they're the Lone ones? Peaks. Okay, so these are the Lone Peaks, which is typically the ones that we've gotten because they're they're good for the hiking. They have like the traction underneath and these ones have kind of like a mesh outer which after I wore these for a little bit I decided that I wanted these are really really comfortable and I really yeah, like they them breathe but they're, really, they're really breathable but they're not waterproof and we did find ourselves in a lot of situations where we were hiking where we might have been like in snow or around like crossing streams or rivers and so these 
weren't really good for that. Then I got another, also a Lone Peak. These are really dirty. You can tell we love them. But you can see the sole or the outer side on these are have a different um, fabric. And these are pretty much waterproof. So I went hiking. We did the Oregon Northwest Mountain Challenge. I'll put like it in an iCard. Uh, up so you can see but there was a lot of hiking in the snow still in that and I wore these and my shoes ne my feet never got wet never got cold so it was pretty awesome yeah they're lined with the polar tech yeah is what so they um uh, what ones do you have well he kind of has these like lone peaks same ones yeah, she just had there these are, those are the men version of mine and then he also has the men's version of the first yeah, ones I have these are seriously shoes I've had for two years. So your first pair. Yeah, and you can see there's still some traction in there, like nothing well, wore out. If you've had yours for two years, and I've had these for two years too, and they still are good. And like with my feet too, I have like a bump on my heel from like the bone grown out. It's really weird, but it tends to wear out like the very back of my shoes. They'll just rub all that out. But in these, you can see the heel is still perfect in them, which is. Good. Yeah. For me. So what else is really cool about these shoes? I'm gonna show you really quick. Qu quack. I'm gonna show you really quack. quack. Um, really quick is that they have these like little Velcro. Oh yeah. Things here, and they have their own gaiters. Uh, their own. Ultra has their own gaiters, so you can attach them. They have a little thing that Velcro's onto here, and then there's a little hook right here on the front of the shoe. So then the gaiter hooks here and then back here, which is really cool. So I have a pair of the gators, Mark doesn't because he already had some of his own, but I just think that's kind of a really cool feature that they think about as yeah, well. Yeah, the gators are just kind of like a outer yeah. sock type thing that keeps dirt from getting into your shoe from yeah. the top. But then these are the ones I just picked up this year because I wanted something like for that early season hunting and hiking where I had more ankle support. So they're like the, what they call them, three quarter tops. Yeah. And they are the Lone Peaks also with the Polar Tech, so they are waterproof or yeah. water resistant. And these are awesome too, proof. so if you're someone who needs that or really yeah, wants that kind support. of higher ankle um, feature, then it's cool that they make them. They make them for men, pretty much every shoe. They have a men's version and a women's version. I think they even have kids' shoes. I also noticed, heh, I also noticed that they're coming out with just like everyday casual shoes yeah. as well as court shoes which i really want to get the court shoes because i do a lot of like indoor volleyball and i and if we just like work out in the garage or at the gym then those would be super handy yeah, so I got my eye if we get those then pairs. we'll have to do like a follow-up <laughs> video uh just to tell you about how we like those I'm but. stating right now i'm gonna get two more pairs of ultras you already have two in your head um, yep. that you want i have one in my already head in that here. I want. so ultra if you're seeing this send us we shoes. Need shoes i'm gonna buy more shoes yeah anyways we really really love these and we definitely recommend them and we know a lot of people who also really love them a lot so if you are someone who is a hiker or a runner or even just like does a lot of outdoor activities like walking or even just like easy hikes harder hikes these are definitely shoes you want to check out and if you haven't heard of 6pm.com by the way we're not sponsored we're such a small channel we're just doing this because we want to do it but 6pm.com is a really good way to get some of these for really cheap i would suggest at least going somewhere to try on your size first and looking if 6pm 6 6pm 6 has what you want but you can get them at ultra.com uh, we got them on our local yeah, shoe local store, so I will put a link to shop. Ultra Footwear in the description box down below. If you want an awesome shoe from like zero break-in, you just go out, buy them, put them on, and go for a long hike. These are the shoes to do it. It's crazy. And they're, Amazing. They are so durable. I can't believe I have not destroyed a pair yet. I know. So I'm so glad that guy stuff. told me about them because I, yeah. I would have never looked at them because they didn't really look like what I was at thought I was after that first day yeah. but when you look at them you're just like oh they look weird but yeah yeah they do awesome. look weird at first but they're totally worth it it's worth it to have a weird shaped shoe yeah you look... to take care of your feet <laughs> that's right yeah it's all about comfort guys anyways that is all for today thanks so much for watching comment down below if you try these out and let us know what you think or if you already have a pair and we will see you guys in our next video peace Bye. out <laughs>